Oh, Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. Today we're going to be taking a look at Frank Gambale's Monster Lick from his tuition video, Monster Licks and Speed Picking. Uh, it's one of the first tuition videos I had actually. Um, it was my dad's along with Mode's No More Mystery, that video. And I watched both of those videos religiously every single day for hours and hours and hours. Love them, still do, still do. Um, but in the monster licks and speed picking, there's this long lick. I think he calls it the lick that slurped LA or something daft like that. <laughs> and um, uh, I never actually learned it. I just used to enjoy watching him play it uh, until around right about 2013, I actually decided to have a pop at learning it. In fact, let, let's take a look at the video. <laughs> Okay, looking at that video uh, and what I've done today, because I've kind of had a look at the, the lick again today, because uh, I thought it'd be fun to just go back to it and see how it feels, you know, now, sort of six years after playing it, um, and to see what's different. Uh, and there are a few subtle changes that I've had to make, you know, and it's pretty evident that the six years, within the six years that have elapsed since doing that video, things have changed for me fingering wise. And this happens a lot when I'm relearning stuff. You know, I end up using slightly different fingerings because it just, your playing evolves over time. So what felt comfortable then doesn't necessarily feel comfortable or isn't the choice that you make, the decision that you make a little bit later on down the line. Anyway, I'm babbling on, I'm di digressing as always. Let's get straight to the lick. So I'm just gonna take you through the lick nice and slowly. And this is really mainly for the left hand. Uh, that I'm using, I'm working on this, not necessarily the right hand, but you know, you can economy pick it, which is what it was written for, uh, or you can alternate pick it, it's fine, you choose. Uh, but I'm going to show you some of, the, some of the parts, some of the trickier parts of it and how I tackle them. Okay, so let's take a look at the first part, it's G Dorian. Um, so, first bit. Okay, you'll notice here we've got the index finger and I'm rolling it across the strings to avoid getting notes bleeding into one another. You can, of course, opt for separate fingers, but I decided to go with the same finger and, and roll it. Um, and there are other spots within this lick that you're gonna to have to do that as well, particularly later on. So we want at all costs to avoid notes bleeding into one another. So picking wise, it's all for economy. Up, down, 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 up, up, down. But you can alter the pick it. Uh, you know, it's, it doesn't matter. Um, so, next bit. Okay, simply enough. Shift. This is the first real change that I had to make here. In the original 2013 video, I used four, three, and four here. I don't know how I did it up, up to that speed. Um, now, I tried it today and it's just too bloody awkward. So, <laughs> I changed the fingering. But looking back on that video, you can see the little finger really legging it. Uh, no, I'll, I'll skip that and use three, two, three. Thank you very much. Three, two, oops. Three, two, three. You've got to be careful again with that rolling bar. So, let's do that all together. Three, two, three. Okay, good, that's the first section. Now we get into this part. Oops. So that is basically a C7 chord. Um, so he's outlining the C dominant seven. Uh, okay, so the pattern is. And then we shift with the third finger once more. 
three, three, then bar, three, three, bar. Okay, let me do that whole pattern slowly. Three, 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 three. Yeah, that's generally not too bad. You might have to watch out for that because it's awkward if you're not used to doing those kind of uh, stretches. Okay, now we get to a really nasty bit. Here, this is really awkward. This is okay. We've got a, a pretty nasty bar there, but you know, roll it and you'll be okay. Now here, we've got to come back on ourselves to play this. So if you notice here, I'm putting my little finger to play the 12th fret, but I'm also barring to get the B string, even though I'm not playing it, just to prepare myself for the next move. See what I mean? Little finger down, and then following on, we get this Pretty awkward sweep. I find it awkward. A real sort of gambaliism, these, these sweeps. Then we shift to here. That's typical gambali. Okay, so let's do that once more. Shift. Okay. So it's the same shape, upper minor third. And then we get this. All of that is a pain in the ass. Frankly, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> that pun was not intended. Um, here actually, I think I use I was toying with using one and two here, because it makes sense. Makes sense, but for some reason I just, up to speed, I just went back to the one and three fingering. Sometimes that happens when I take it up to speed, I just go back to the previous way of playing it rather than allowing the new fingering to supplant the old one. Uh, but hey, I'm not gonna whinge about it. It is what it is. So, um, So we find ourselves here, fret 15 of the bottom E, and we're just going to repeat what we did an octave lower. And so on, but up here. And not that horrible note at the end that I did in the video. Um, anyway, that's the whole thing. Should we play it nice and slowly? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so that's the whole pattern. I suggest you work on um, the, what the areas that I had to really, really work on with, with that, that section, and also this part here. So that needs real slow practice. Here, work on shifting position. You might want to break it down into manageable um, chunks here just to get it down. Um, okay, and keep it nice and steady. Uh, keep the left hand nice and relaxed when you're doing it as well. Anyway, I hope this has given you um, some food for thought for your practicing and uh, 
give it a try. You never know how you'll get on. Hopefully you'll nail it. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next video coming very, very soon. Remember, still 50% off on my website, so get on it. Link is in description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.